Hi dear students, hi guys. I am Obidullah Shah, lecturer in chemistry, government college, Madhyan Swag. This is the class of biochemistry. Today we are going to discuss a very important topic in version of cane sugar. Our table sugar or sucrose. Sucrose on acid hydrolysis yields equal amount of D-glucose and D-fructose. Equimolar mixture. This equimolar mixture is called n wort sugar. The specific rotation of sucrose solution is plus 66.5 degree. The specific rotation of D-glucose individually is plus 52 degree. The specific rotation of D-fructose is minus 92 degree. The net specific rotation of equimolar mixture of D-glucose and D-fructose therefore will be at its average plus 52 minus 92 divided by 2 is equal to minus 20 degree. So there is inversion of sign from positive to negative. Because sucrose solution rotates the plane polarized light to the right side while hydrolyzed sucrose solution rotates the plane polarized light to the left. So there is change in direction of plane polarized light. In the process of hydrolysis, the specific rotation changes from plus 66.5 degree to minus 20 degree plus 2 minus of sucrose. The sign of specific rotation changes from plus to minus are set to n watt. Set to n watt. The hydrolysis of sucrose to D-glucose and D-fructose is called inversion. This process the hydrolysis of sucrose and to D-glucose and D-fructose. This process, this hydrolysis of sucrose is called inversion because there is inversion occurs of sign from positive to negative from the, the dextro rotatory to a leu rotatory of plane polarized light. So the hydrolysis of sucrose to D-glucose and D-fructose is called inversion while the mixture is called n wort sugar, n wort sugar. So this equimolar mixture of D-glucose and D-fructose is called n wort sugar. This process of hydrolysis of sucrose is called inversion, inversion, inversion. This is all about the today's topic. Thank you so much for watching this video. For more values, for more updates, stay tuned with us. Stay home, stay safe. Goodbye, Allah Hafiz.